Hi everyone to our next collaboration in the new new year 2024. Uh, this time it's all about uh, Iran and Persian uh, cuisine and food. Uh, and I have uh, chose, uh, chosen to make, um, I have to uh, uh, see uh, what's the name really, it's Mork Nadoni. Uh, I hope uh, I pronounce it uh, well. Uh, so it's all about chicken and um, in pomegranate uh, in three different uh, manners. Uh, you will see this uh, in a few moments. Uh, first of all, uh, let me say again, this is a collaboration, so please go into the video descript description as always uh, and uh, have a, a look uh, at all my uh, wonderful cooking colleagues around the world and uh, watch their videos as well and please support them as you might support me. So now uh, let's go into, into this dish. Um, um, I have to mention uh, one um, uh, single piece. Um, uh, I have chosen Iraqian spices and Iraqian pomegranate syrup instead of Iranian Persian because I have a wonderful team member in my team. She comes from uh, from Iraq uh, and she uh, uh, brings every time when she's uh, in her uh, origin home uh, land, uh, uh, when she comes back she brings me spices and this pomegranate syrup, so I had to uh, to choose this, uh, so sorry for that, but it's an Iranian um, a dish, wonderful, and um, please enjoy uh, the video, and we will see us again in a few minutes. Here we go. First of all, uh, I'm cooking for actually two people, but uh, it's a little bit more uh, meat this time. Uh, I had uh, three chicken uh, legs and two breasts. That was uh, a lot of turmeric and then a spice mixture of your choice. In my case, it's a Iranian, a Iraqian uh, a spice mix. Uh, then a little bit of oil and then you mix it up very good and uh, set it uh, uh, in the fridge for at least one hour uh, up to three hours. Uh, this is saffron, fresh, real saffron. You um, um, make it in a, in a mortar, grind it, uh, and then you put it on, on an on a ice cube. Um, and this is called bloomed saffron. Very interesting. And then you just uh, set it aside uh, and wait until the ice cube is melting. Um, and then all uh, the flavor and, and, and this uh, red-yellow color from the saffron is going into the water. Then you open uh, the palm grenade and extract uh, the seeds uh, out of it. Uh, there are several um, possibilities to do so. I have chosen this one, <laughs> the bad one, uh, because you can do this uh, under the water, uh, for example. This is a very good uh, method, but anyhow. So then you see uh, a few onion and a lot of um, garlic. You put it in a mixer and you make really puree. So you really mix it down until it is puree. Then uh, you have uh, probably seen for a second, I added also really a very uh, um, small amount of olive oil. Yeah, and then we are already ready. This is this palm grenade syrup. This is not from Iran. I received this from a very nice employee. Uh, of mine from Iraq, but it's actually that what they use there. And this is palm grenade um, uh, juice without any kind of additional stuff. It's just the juice, no sugar, no uh, any other uh, additions. Um, what, how I do uh, this into the dish, you will see in a few moments. So first of all, we have to um, get some flavor on, on the meat um, and I forgot to say but you can see it it's a bone in and the skin off um, you just uh, fry it for a few minutes from uh, each side uh, to get a little bit of flavor and color on the meat and then uh, you just uh, um, 
uh, get it out of the pan because after that we will uh, braise this um, and uh, but you will see this so uh, because the pan um, is too small for the frying process for all the meat um, I have uh, made two rounds this is the second round here you see already the bloomed saffron, the ice cube has melted uh, and you have a wonderful flavorful uh, little amount of, of saffron water which we put into the dish um, really five minutes before it's uh, ready, uh, but you will see this later. So now the meat is... Uh, uh, has this color and then you just leave the oil in it as it is uh, uh, with all the flavor already in and then you put this puree of uh, onion and uh, garlic into it and you really fry it until um, uh, you smell it when it's ready to go uh, then you put a little bit salt a little bit pepper and this is uh, again turmeric this is actually the major uh, amount of spice here in this dish. Then you put um, a little bit of um, uh, tomato, um, 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 this is a concentrated, concentrated tomato. And then you have seen that was round about two uh, tablespoons of the grenade, uh, pomegranate syrup. It's very dark, it's nearly uh, black um, and uh, yeah and then you put the meat uh, back into it and then you just fill the pan that um, uh, the, the, the juice is nearly uh, covering uh, the whole pan as you can see it uh, optically how I show it um, in, in the video now and then you just uh, reduce uh, the heat um, the lowest possible it's just simmering a little bit for around about 45 minutes and um, twice or three times after 10 20 and 30 minutes you should um, uh, turn the meat a little bit uh, that uh, all this dark color is getting really all over the, the, the chicken pieces as you can see it uh, already here now and uh, you have not to do more than this the, the dish is actually uh, ready already so now um, I add a fresh uh, addition uh, this is a Greek uh, yogurt uh, with 10% uh, of uh, uh, fat uh, degree, um, then uh, um, uh, of a lemon, uh, the skin, a little bit of the juice, and we add uh, um, some salt. This is the salt, uh, and then uh, again a little bit of uh, uh, turmeric, and this was a little bit cum cumin, um, and um, really very little curry powder. You can choose uh, different spices as you want, and then you just mix it up, and you have a wonderful fresh, uh, fresh uh, uh, adding uh, to this dish. So these are cardamom and um, star anise pieces uh, because I will put this into the water to flavor the water from uh, the basmati rice uh, I'm cooking uh, in addition. You will see this here. This is the water. It's uh, twice as much as I put rice in a few moments. And I just put uh, star anise and cardamom uh, bring uh, the water to boil, a little bit salt of course and then I add um, the basmati rice and after 12 minutes uh, the rice is ready to go. And right at the end of the process uh, I put uh, um, ah here I uh, add now it's five minutes before the whole dish is ready I put the saffron uh, into the pan um, and uh, see a little bit that it goes into the whole uh, sauce and so on and uh, delivers the flavor to the whole pan. Yeah, now I cover a little bit the rice it all um, the moisture sticks um, to uh, this uh, um, to this uh, um, um, paper and goes not uh, back to to the pan. So and now the dish is ready, 
And in a few moments you will see if it was uh, tasty or not. Uh, I will have uh, a little wrap up speech after that. And look at this, this is so beautiful and it's absolutely wonderful flavor. You will hear this in a few moments. And then uh, you add uh, the pomegranate seeds uh, fresh, a little bit of uh, parsley and that's it. This is the dish and it's wonderful. It's looking uh, great and it's also tasting great. So let's see how it tastes. Looks wonderful. All this pomegranate. Very good. And now, oh, look at the meat. How it falls apart. Excellent. So I strongly recommend. Um, to cook uh, this dish yourself on time. It's uh, simply wonderful. So full of flavor and this uh, Persian oriental um, um, it tastes uh, very good. So thank you for watching and uh, happy cooking.